Hi everyone, this is Jeff and welcome to my messy studio. If you've ever watched my channel before, you have probably seen videos of me doing laser engraving. Well, one particular area of interest that I have in laser engraving is in engraving photographs. And today that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, for today's video, we're going to take a picture of Vera Farmiga. Uh, it's just a picture that I ripped off the web, and uh, we're going to show you how I convert this into something that I can send to my laser engraver. So we'll simply start by importing the photo into Corel Draw, and then we're going to just pull these handles to resize the picture. Okay, now that we have that, we have to start working with this photo a little bit to make it into something that the laser is going to be able to read. If we were to just try to engrave it like this, our results are going to be pretty poor. Every photo is going to have some shadows and dark areas in it, and these do not translate real well to the laser engraver. Um, they will make a really dark engraving if they won't really bring out the detail in the photo so we're going to have to work with this picture just a little bit the first thing that i'm going to want to do is brighten this picture up a little bit so that uh, we can bring out the detail better so with the picture selected we're going to go to effects we're going to go to adjust and gamma now we could also use tone curve if we want to, but uh, generally speaking, gamma works just fine. So that's where we're going to go. And we're going to set the gamma value at 3.5. Now you can see that really lightened up the picture. It really almost washed it out, uh, but that's okay because what we see on the screen here is is uh, not real representative of how it's going to come out in the end. Now we've also, in any photo, are going to have some blurred areas, uh, some areas where the edges are not well defined, and so we're going to want to bring out uh, those details as well. So the next thing we'll do is run the Unsharp Mask Filter. We'll do that by going to Bitmaps, down here to Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. I like to set the value at about 500%. We'll have a radius of around 20 and a threshold at 6, 7, something like that. Now you can see in this preview that really brings out the details in her eyes, her hair, everything. It just really sharpens up the photo. So we're going to select OK. And now an additional step that you can take to really bring up the detail in the edges would be to go to bitmaps again, sharpen, and sharpen fill. Now we're going to want to make sure to preserve the colors. We'll have the edge level set at 100% and the threshold set at 7. And we press OK and there we go. Okay, as you can see, this has really defined all of the edges in the photograph and brought out a lot of detail. Now here on screen, like I say, it looks really strange at this point, but once we convert this and send it to the laser, it's going to just make a phenomenal picture. Now, I'm not going to send a color picture to the laser. We want to change this to a grayscale. So we'll go to bitmaps, we'll go down here to mode, grayscale, and there we are. Now this photo is ready to send to the laser. And I've just got a scrap piece of alder wood loaded into the laser. I've got it focused and uh, now we're going to head back over to the computer and send the file this way.
now we have the finished project. I think we've achieved some wonderful detail in this picture. Look right there, you can really see her necklace. You can see the detail in her shirt. And especially in her face, it really brings out her eyes and her lips, shape of her nose, and her hair. Take another quick look at the finished product. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you learned a little something about engraving photos into wood. And uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to take in the next video, we're going to take that same photo and we're going to compare the results of engraving a photo from 300, 600, and 1200 DPI. So stay tuned for that next video and we'll see what the difference is. Thanks for watching.